How to turn any woman on without touching her. What if I told you that you could make any woman feel deeply attracted to you without even laying a finger on her? Yep, I'm talking about creating that irresistible pull without the typical touchy-feely approach. And no, this isn't some magical trick. It's a real psychological chemistry that every guy can master. So stick with me because I'm about to break down the secrets to turning her on without even touching her. Welcome back, I am Kelly and thank you so much for joining my channel. Now, if you like the title and the juice I'm about to give you, please smash the like button, subscribe if you haven't already, as that helps the video, and share this if you find the video beneficial. So let's jump in right now. The power of non-physical attraction. So here's the thing, most people assume that attraction and turning women on is all about touch. But the real attraction, the kind that sticks with someone and keeps them thinking about you even when you're not around, is built through the things you don't do physically. And it's all in the mind. You see, humans are wired to feel connected by things beyond physical contact. The mind responds to subtle cues, the way you look at her, the words you choose, the energy you project. And when you get this right, she'll feel the magnetic pull towards you and she won't even fully understand why. Think about those movie scenes where two characters are just looking at each other across the room. They're not touching, they're not even talking, but you can feel the tension, the spark. It's that electric connection, that intense energy that builds attraction without a single touch. When you can build that kind of mental and emotional connection, you've just tapped into something even more powerful than touch. This kind of attraction can last far longer than anything physical. She feels it even when she's alone, scrolling through her day. So today, we're focusing on how to create this kind of deep, almost hypnotic pull. We're going to dive into some practical ways to get her hooked on you without any touch involved. By the end of this, you'll know exactly how to make her feel like she's got a special connection with you, and it will feel effortless. Think about it. Everyone else is using physical gestures, trying to rush into touch. But when you focus on mastering the non-physical side, you're already standing out. You're that guy who knows how to play in the deeper layers of attraction. The kind of guy who intrigues her long after the moment has passed. And that's exactly what I'm going to do with this video. Please stay tuned. How to make her feel seen. The power of attention. So here's where most guys slip up. They think impressing her means being loud, flashy or overly complimentary. The quickest way to make a woman feel deeply connected to you is simply to make her feel seen. It's about showing her, without words, that you notice who she is beneath the surface. Think about it. When someone genuinely sees you, notices the little things, doesn't it make you feel special? That's what women crave too. They want to feel like they're more than just a pretty face or someone to pass your time with. And when you're that guy who goes beyond surface level, it sticks with her. It's something she won't be able to shake. So, let's get practical. Here's what I want you to try. Next time she mentions something small, like a favorite book, a funny story from her day, or a quirky habit she has, make sure you remember it. Let her see that you're paying attention to all these little things. And then later on, bring it up in a casual, effortless way. And listen, really listen when she talks. Not with the intent to respond, but with the intent to understand where she's coming from. Stop thinking about what to say next. Instead, give her the kind of attention that makes her feel safe, like she's being heard and understood. It will change everything. When you're genuinely invested in her stories, her thoughts, and even the quirks she might feel self-conscious about, something incredible happens. She starts to feel this undeniable pull towards you. Why? Because you're making her feel a level of validation and comfort that's rare. Suddenly, you're that guy who doesn't see her as one of the crowd, but as someone uniquely worth knowing. And here's what makes this so powerful. When she's with you, she'll feel like she's at home, safe, seen. And that feeling, she won't want to give it up easily. It becomes addictive and she'll start craving your attention more and more. Challenge her, subtly playing hard to get. We're diving into the art of challenge, showing her that you're interested but not completely sold. This involves being mysterious enough to keep her intrigued and wanting more. Here's the deal. Women are naturally drawn to a bit of mystery, to a man who has standards and doesn't just fall head over heels from the get-go. Think about it. What makes someone memorable isn't that they're always there, eager and available. It's because they're just a little bit out of reach. Here's a real life example. 
Maybe you've been chatting with her for a while and she suggests meeting up last minute. Instead of dropping everything, say something like, oh, I'd love to, but I already have plans tonight. Let's plan for another day. This lets her know that you're not gonna jump just because she snaps her fingers. It shows her that you're a man with a full life and that will make her see you as someone with value. Now, let's clear something up. Playing hard to get doesn't mean you're acting aloof or uninterested. It's about balancing your interest with your standards. Show her that you enjoy her company and that you're genuinely interested in getting to know her, but also let her see that you're not gonna give away your time and attention to just anyone. Make her feel like earning your attention is something special. For instance, if she asks you to do something you're not into, like a last minute request that doesn't fit your schedule, let her know that you'll have to pass this time. Say something like, hey, I'd love to, but I already have something planned. Trust me, it speaks volumes. You're showing her that you're not just a yes man. Doing something like this works because when you're a bit of a challenge, you're creating a psychological phenomenon called reciprocal interest. She'll start feeling drawn to you, not because you're constantly showering her with attention, but because you're someone worth working for. You're subtly telling her that she has to bring something to the table too, that you're not just won over by her looks or charm. And that makes her want to be the best version of herself around you. When you can master the art of creating that subtle challenge, she'll be drawn to you in ways you never expected. The art of suggestive language and tone. Now here's something a lot of people don't realize. How you say something is just as powerful, if not more so, than what you say. There's an art to using your tone of voice and suggestive language to create attraction that goes way beyond the words themselves. When you master this, you can send a shiver down her spine with just a few well-chosen words. Let's talk about tone first. There's something irresistibly attractive about a man who speaks with a calm, steady, slightly lower tone, especially when he's saying something meaningful. It signals confidence, calmness, and control. Women pick up on these subtle cues and respond on a subconscious level. By slowing down your speech, lowering your tone, deepening your voice, and giving your words room to breathe, you're creating a vibe that's quietly magnetic. Imagine this, you're talking to her and instead of rushing through your sentences, you let a small pause sit between your words. Maybe you're saying something like, you know, I really enjoy spending time with you. Now that pause right before really makes the words more intentional and impactful. You're not just filling space, you're letting each word sink in, letting her feel the weight of your words. The beauty of a pause is that it creates anticipation. It makes her lean in, waiting for your next word, wondering what you're gonna say. That anticipation builds tension in the best way possible. You're letting her feel the depth of your interest without being overtly direct about it. Using suggestive language to create intrigue. Don't get me wrong, I'm not talking about being overly flirtatious or making her feel uncomfortable. I'm talking about using words and phrases that hint at something deeper. Words that let her know there's more to you than meets the eye. For example, instead of saying, hey, I think you're interesting, you could say, there's something really intriguing about you, but I can't quite put my finger on it. That small change in wording adds a layer of mystery and depth. It makes her wonder, what does he see in me? What is it that intrigues him? Now she's invested, she'll want to uncover what you find so captivating. It's a subtle difference, but it changes the entire vibe of the conversation. You're no longer just giving a compliment, you're creating a moment of intrigue, a sense of curiosity that will keep her mind lingering on your words. Another way to use suggestive language is by steering the conversation in a way that hints at a deeper connection. Instead of talking about the usual small talk topics, ask questions that bring out her personal stories, thoughts or dreams. You could say something like, I get the feeling you have a story or two that would surprise me. Care to share one? By framing the conversation like this, you're inviting her to open up and share something more meaningful. She'll start to feel like there's a unique connection forming, an almost intimate conversation happening between the two of you. That feeling of emotional depth, it's magnetic. It makes her want to keep talking, to keep exploring that connection with you. The secret ingredient, slow and steady, wins the game. One last thing, don't rush it. 
When you're using a suggestive tone, less is more. You don't need to overload the conversation with hints or mystery. Instead, keep it subtle. Let your words linger. Let your tone be smooth and steady. When she sees that you're calm, that you're not trying too hard to impress, you'll create a sense of intrigue that's almost impossible to ignore. For instance, if she asks about your weekend, you could say something like, I had an interesting weekend. I'll tell you about it sometime. By leaving it open-ended, you're giving her something to think about, something to wonder about. She's curious, she's intrigued, and maybe even a little excited to hear the full story. You're not just giving her everything up front, you're building that sense of anticipation and mystery. The eyes have it, the power of eye contact. All right, let's talk about one of the most powerful tools in attraction, eye contact. When done right, it can create a connection so strong that she feels it in her bones. Let's talk about one of the most underrated yet incredibly powerful tools of attraction, eye contact. When done right, it creates an unspoken connection that words can't match. A single gaze can say a thousand things and leave her thinking about you long after you've parted ways. Here's why eye contact is so effective. It's vulnerable. Most people aren't used to someone looking directly at them with undivided attention. And when you master this skill, you immediately stand out. You're giving her something rare, a true sense of connection. But here's the key. It's not about staring her down or making her uncomfortable. The goal is to hold her gaze just a moment longer than usual, enough to make her feel the weight of your attention without crossing into intensity. For example, when you're in a conversation with her, focus on keeping eye contact while she's speaking. Let her see that you're fully present, that you're not distracted by anything else. Show her through your gaze that you're genuinely interested in what she's saying, not just waiting for your turn to speak. It's about showing her that she has your full attention. When she feels like she's the only person in the room, like nothing else matters in that moment, it creates a powerful emotional connection. How to make it comfortable yet magnetic. One of the most common mistakes when it comes to eye contact is being too intense. A harsh, unblinking stare can feel intimidating or even creepy. Instead, aim for a soft, relaxed gaze. A slight smile or a warm expression will help convey openness and approachability. Here's how to practice it. Keep your facial muscles relaxed. Let your gaze be steady but not stiff. Occasionally smile or nod subtly to show engagement. This type of eye contact feels inviting rather than confrontational. It makes her feel safe, seen and appreciated. The silent game of tension. Now, here's where it gets even more interesting. When you hold her gaze just a second longer than normal, especially during a quiet moment, you create an almost tangible tension. This lingering look sends a silent but powerful message. I see you, and I'm interested. For instance, during a lull in the conversation, instead of quickly breaking eye contact or looking down, let your gaze stay on her for just a heartbeat longer. Then, when she looks away, don't immediately shift your focus. When she glances back to check if you're still looking, meet her gaze with a soft smile. This simple move works wonders. It tells her, without words, that she has your attention, and it creates a sense of intrigue that's hard to shake off. Let her break the gaze. First, here's a pro tip. Let her be the one to break eye contact first. When she looks away, it's often because she feels the intensity of your gaze. She's processing it, maybe even feeling a little flustered, in a good way. And when she looks back to see if you're still watching, it's your chance to show her that you're grounded, confident, and present. This dynamic creates a subtle but powerful tension, making her wonder what you're thinking and feeling. Eye contact, a tool for building trust and desire. Ultimately, Eye contact isn't just about attraction, it's about trust. When you hold someone's gaze, you're showing them that you're unafraid of connection, that you're comfortable in your own skin. This level of confidence is incredibly attractive because it's rare. When she feels that trust and comfort through your eyes, she'll naturally start to feel more connected to you. And that connection can build into something deeper, something that goes beyond physical attraction. Wrapping it up the power of non-physical attraction. Guys, these tools, whether it's mastering the art of suggestive language, creating a subtle challenge, or using powerful eye contact, aren't just about impressing her. 
They're about creating a genuine connection that sticks with her long after you're gone. When you focus on these non-physical aspects of attraction, you're stepping into a league of your own. You're showing her that you're not just another guy chasing surface level validation, but someone who understands how to connect on a deeper level. And here's the best part. When you master these skills, you'll notice that she starts leaning towards you physically, emotionally, mentally. She'll crave your attention, your presence and your energy. So go out there and try it. Practice these techniques, refine them, and watch how the way women respond to you begins to change. Because true attraction doesn't start with a touch, it starts in the mind. Kelly Fact here, signing off. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video.